now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical Weather Bulletin for October 18th. Well, here we are with a similar panel as what we had in the past few days. Quietness, except we no longer have Namthun, uh, which brings us to this little card here in which no tropical cyclones are active. And as of right now, we still remain with 81 storms so far this worldwide season. Going into the Atlantic hurricane season side of things, it's day 140 here. And once again, there are no systems active and no areas of interest in the next five days, continuing what has been quite the quiet month after the pretty substantial activity that we had in August and September here in this basin. In the Eastern Pacific, we have a new area of interest that has just come off from the National Hurricane Center on this 156th day of the season here. This has a 20% chance of development as it parallels the coast of Mexico in the coming days. Uh, not really much else going on at the moment here. In the Western Pacific, now that Namthun is gone and final advisories have been issued with how really disintegrated that storm looked, there is really nothing going on here for the next five days either. It's all quiet here. Good news, especially as we enter the late season. The less storms we have, the better. In the North Indian Ocean, it's the same picture. There are no storms here either. It is pretty much completely quiet with no areas of interest. That pretty much means that the only thing active that we're monitoring is an Eastern Pacific AOI with a 20% chance of formation in the next five days. Well, that brings us to our track forecast, except we kind of have none, given the fact that there are no systems active to track. I kind of sound redundant at this point. Uh, expect a little bit of this with the next few days, given the fact that there really is nothing going on. Um, but pretty much, you might as well just leave it, so leave yourself to this Western Pacific map in which nothing is going on. I really don't know what else to say. We'll get these track forecasts back when we have another Invest Active. Well, looking at the satellite imagery, you can see the progress of that very large extratropical low that has been drifting towards the east over the last few days. It's been losing definition as it seems that it is trying to absorb another uh, smaller extratropical cyclone, but that frontal system that atta is attached to it goes all the way down into the main development region. In the eastern Pacific, here's what it looks like here, some satellite glitches, but other than that, there's really not much going on. You can't really see the area of interest either yet, that is to the east of where it is shown right now, and then of course the Central Pacific is still refusing to produce a storm named Hone. In the Western Pacific, you can see what's going on here. What's left of Namthun is just a disgrace at this point, and you can hardly see what it looks like. Uh, it's pretty much at the northeastern side of your map there, what is left of it, and really nothing that's going to be developing anytime soon in the West Pacific in general, so that is definitely good news to all those islands here that do exist, of course. Moving on over into the North Indian Ocean, there has been a little bit of shower activity continuing with, of course with the monsoonal uh, season we've been watching here. So that has been something that's been affecting parts of eastern India and Bangladesh. There's also nothing going on in the Arabian Sea, it's all dry there. And because we have nothing on, uh, our flutter imagery doesn't really have anything to focus on. So we've decided that it was a good idea to focus on Antarctica because we really have never given any kind of attention to Antarctica here. So this is to you in Antarctica. We do acknowledge your existence and we thank you for producing spinny clouds that are just extra tropical things but backwards I guess. Well here we are in the sea surface temperature side of things and uh, the temperatures are slightly cooler after what we saw with uh, that last storm Pamela there. A little pocket of 28 degrees Celsius involved with those areas around 29 to 30. And then of course there is the Atlantic that is still looking pretty warm, just the conditions have been pretty unfavorable for development. Other than that, we are going to be seeing the temperatures start to slowly cool soon as we do get closer to the end of the season. Of course with both the Atlantic and the Eastern Pacific, that is in about a month and a half from now. In the North Indian Ocean, those temperatures remain around 28 to 20, 30 degrees Celsius in the Bay of Bengal. It's around 27 to 29 as you head into the Arabian Sea. In the Western Pacific, we've still been seeing those temperatures remain steady at around 28 to 29 degrees Celsius throughout a majority of the basin, although once you get south of the Philippines, it's around 30. In the Southern Hemisphere, we're still looking at those temperatures remaining around 25 to 28 degrees Celsius. Of course, we do expect that those will slowly warm up as we get closer to the beginning of the season over here. Going into the sea surface temperature anomalies, it's now official, of course, as of a few days ago, we are now back in that La Nina. 
Uh, the Atlantic Sea surface temperatures remaining above average. Eastern Pacific, the same thing. Western Pacific and the North Indian Ocean is still looking around slightly to a bit above average. Central Pacific is still looking like a disgrace in terms of its cooler than average temperatures. On this day in 2009, we had Hurricane Rick. Not to be confused with the Rickroll, of course, but this was one of the most powerful storms that we've seen in the Eastern Pacific, attaining winds of 155 knots officially, that would be 180 miles an hour. There was also Typhoon Lupid, which was eventually a Category 5, and the Southern Hemisphere season was beginning with Tropical Depression 1S, that would become a named system eventually. Of course, you can find more of our On This Day products, followed by uh, Cyclone History. There is that Twitter account below there. Well, that brings us over to the next names in the Atlantic. The next names are still Wanda, followed by Adria if we enter the auxiliary list. In the Eastern Pacific, the next two names here are Rick, followed by Sandra. And in the Central Pacific, while Michael Myers may be starting its assault in a few weeks, Michael Myers has probably already killed the chances for Hone. In the Western Pacific, the next two names are Malo, followed by Nieto, and in the North Indian Ocean, we are still looking out for Jawad and Asani. We may see these names next month as we can continue to enter that second peak of the season here. In the Australian region, we're looking out for Patty and Ruby. In the southwestern Indian Ocean, we're looking out for Anna and Batsire. In the South Pacific, we are still looking out for Cody. We'll be back for another Trump Weather Bulletin tomorrow night. We'll see if we have something then.